you were not feeling well. You thought you had some kind of stomach virus and you went yeah. into the ER to find out. Tell us what happened. Um, I went with my parents and we rushed to the emergency room and they found out that something was wrong with my heart and that I was in heart failure. So since I was so bad, they thought that they would have to do a heart transplant and I had the papers and signed my consent forms and then they rushed me off to surgery to hook me up to life support. And then I was out on, I was unconscious, so I don't remember what happened after that. This totally came out of the blue? You had never had any kind of heart issues? No, um, what I had, it was a virus that attacked my heart, so yeah, I was perfectly healthy, 23 year old. I know that y your mom, Margie, is here, as well as your sister, Christy. So Margie, after you brought Michael to the, the hospital, um, you were doing last rites? Right, they, by the time we got there, his condition had worsened. So when the doctors were speaking to Michael, they said, we are going to hook you up to life support. You need a heart transplant. Do you understand what we're saying to you? And Michael Nida said, then he's 23, they said, sign these forms. And we were just in shock. And so um, Father Tom gave him the anointing of the sick and we prayed over him. And You thought you were gonna lose your son. We did, we didn't know if he was gonna let survive that night. 17 yeah. days into this, Christy, a heart became available, right. which was the good news. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fantastic news. Mm -hmm. And then another disappointment. What happened? You know, words can't even describe what an emotional roller coaster that day was. Um, we were told early that morning on Labor Day that they had finally found a perfect heart for Michael. It's what we had prayed for every day for 17 days. And shortly after this wonderful news, the infectious disease doctors came in and said, bad news, the blood culture we drew on Michael yesterday was positive, he has a bloodstream infection. And if we transplant him with this heart, it will very likely, the infection will kill him. And thank God, luckily they had done an echocardiogram, an ultrasound of his heart, and miraculously his heart was functioning normally. The doctors actually had to do two echocardiograms because they didn't believe it.